Whenever you feel sad or mad or nervous or out of control, write down what you're thinking. And then ask yourself, is it true? So those are these three little words I love. So a bad thought, like today is going to be hard. Is that true? Well, I don't know. And then the second question is, is that absolutely true? No. How do I feel when I believe the thought awful? Who would I be without the thought free? Take the original thought, turn it to its opposite. And what you find, the opposite of what's torturing you is usually true. So it just blows your mind. Mm -hmm. But if you can learn to be disciplined about questioning your own thoughts, and I got this technique from my friend Byron Katie. She wrote a oh. brilliant book called Loving What Is. Yeah. It's brilliant. I just, I love it. Whenever I'm off or I'm sad or I'm stressed, I'll read portions of Loving What Is or listen into it. And it's training your mind to help you rather than hurt you. Mm -hmm. Another rational mind technique yeah, please. is start every day with today is going to be a great day. Why? Because your unconscious mind will find why it's going to be a great day. We are programmed through our evolutionary biology to wake up in fear because our ancestors woke up and the fear was real. Mm -hmm. Something was going to eat them. Something wanted to hurt them. And so you wake up anxious, but now that's not true mm -hmm. for most of us. If you start with today is going to be a great day, your unconscious mind then begins to find, well, why is it going to be a great day? For families, it's a great ritual. Hey, honey, today's going to be a great day. And then you begin in your mind to find why it's going to be a great day. It's so easy to find why it's going to be a bad day. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I actually do this as a ritual, both at dinner and then when I put myself to sleep, is what went well today. And we focus on what went well. Now, we also want to focus on, well, what can I learn from today? What could I have done better? Because we're always striving to grow. But when I put myself to sleep at night, I'll say a prayer and then I'll just go back through my day. What went well? Because it actually sets my dreams up mm. to be more positive than negative. Because dreams, there's a purpose for them. It's really we're consolidating memories from what happened that day. And sometimes because you didn't consolidate them from the past, they get infected mm. by negativity. Super simple, tiny habits that can make a big difference.